going to look at what I term lead off when you're setting the tesserina Roman mosaic so if you want a triangle shape in your mosaic then you'll take one of your square tesserae that you've cut cut that diagonally in half and then you have two right angle triangles as you can see where I've marked the angles on there now when you set them there is a certain way that you need to set them so that they sit correctly so if we look here at a square tesserae there's the line that I'm following I put a tesserae there now what I term the lead off you can see you've got either side and you've got the top so you're leaving just your normal gap that you have between them and there is your lead off now if we look at how that works with a triangle so you can see here there's your right angle triangle there's the right angle there there's the line that I'm setting it on now the lead off on here you can see just off to that side the lead off here is straight up there it's not out to the side that would leave too much of a gap if we flip that triangle over see there's the right angle you can see the lead off changes and both of them the only logical lead off is coming out at an angle now with that flipped over tesserae if I had put my tesserae there and one there what you end up with is two triangular gaps you put those fill those with a, a triangular shaped tesserae and you have two triangles together on whichever side you're running now it's not a rule but what I always say is if you have two triangles of the same color next to each other get rid of one of them mostly you'll be able to do this sometimes it works out that way but generally speaking if you have two triangles next to each other get rid of one of them